with the soul journey cards okay we are still doing um the this guy so bear with me okay oh my butter is not out here right now but it's okay oh uh, it's fine we we got everybody here recording the uh the list. so first of all we're gonna start off with fire okay we'll just see who comes next earth water air earth water air earth okay earth wants to come in okay and we have balance okay so the earth sign air water air water air okay air air wants to come in again okay so we have ooh, indecision for the air signs okay so air and last but not least is the sorry water signs okay let's get a card for the water sign okay service wow someone's servicing a car i'm kidding no ah, let's put this in order and let's get started so these are the oracle uh that i'm going to be using and this is just a collective one leo sagittarius i'm going to blow my nose every like few seconds because i'm trying to get rid of this this runny nose anyways let's get started here okay the fire signs let's see what's going on okay so we have grief here i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it okay all right fire signs i feel like i don't know what it is i feel like you are trying to achieve something that is much more higher than yourself okay and you internally with your intuition already knows this okay but the thing is in order to achieve something that is higher than yourself there is obviously a cost to it okay within losing people you know moving from a location that is deeply sentimental towards you okay and i feel like it's very hard for you to let go of people okay it's like you can't do that <laughs> even though you guys are very outburst with your anger and like um you know you're very free spirit in a way here it's just that when you hold on to things of the past it just you know it's like a memory book for you okay there's something here that you're you're needing to you know allow yourself to rem you know let go of in order to leave room for yourself for this new journey okay all right i'm gonna get some um <coughs> sorry some of the tarot cards let's see what comes up all right you know what let's use this we haven't used this in a long time this is called the ethereal uh what is it ethereal visions okay very beautiful gold plated not real but it's okay let's just think it's real okay bougie or whatever Okay, it's okay. I feel like right now for you, fire signs collectively, it's very hard for you to trust a lot of people, okay? And I feel like you're going through like either a grieving time of your life, like understanding that sometimes situations you cannot control and you need to, you um, you know, disconnect from a certain person or a certain group in order to, um, you know, refocus yourself here, okay? Ooh. Yeah, this is surrounding a lot more of your sacred chakra here, okay? What is your safe space, right? Right? And I feel like also, I don't know what it is, but I feel like Aries, uh, no, sorry, not Aries, sorry, uh, fire signs, you feel a little bit misunderstood. Like, I don't know why. I feel like, you know, it's your birthday and you're sitting there and you're looking at the friends you're invited, but like, you're really thinking to yourself, do they really care about me? Because you feel like you know that they don't. You get what I'm saying? And it's like really, really sad. Anyways. But yeah, I feel like a lot of people don't understand where you're coming from in terms of responsibilities. I feel like you get put down a lot because they think that you don't do enough for, you know, literally like <laughs> the people that you care about. And like... They take advantage for you for that and it's just like why why do i feel this way like what am i doing wrong like i work really hard but what is it do i need to focus on right okay so where are my aries at aries sun moon rising and venus hey bitches <laughs> 
How's your night? How's your morning? What's going on? Hi, my Aries. There's a lot of Aries right now. Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries, Sun. Okay. Wow. So we have the Eight of Pentacles here with Grief. All right. I feel like I want to do a little extra card for you guys for the entire... Um, you know, list. So let's 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 get this spiritual card because this is a spiritual um journey, okay. All right, what your spirit guides want you to know, okay. So I'm just also gonna get this out real quick. This is a seven oracle deck or something like that. Energy oracle, I think. Yeah. There is something. Oh, this will be recorded on YouTube, guys. Okay. All right. Okay, what a card. Guess what the card was. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. Like I said before in the beginning, I feel like that just like pans out the whole theme in the message for you. Um, Aries, I feel like right now you're building towards a future for yourself and like what overworking so hard that you're not even giving yourself the time to really be with yourself here okay i know that you know you don't have to like hang out with friends and everything like that but if you find that you you know your refresher time you need to have that you know embedded in your schedule okay because you can't really leave that out because it balances out your life here because i feel like you're just isolating yourself uh, removing yourself from like close friendships and you know thinking too much about the future because like what i always say guys if you think about the future too much and reside within the past you're just jumping over the present moment and you keep thinking that you're doing something for the future for the better but you're actually not you're actually putting yourself in a self-made prison here okay because the most power that you can have to have is being present with yourself what creates the past and the future the present moment the present creates the past every second that i talk creates the past and also the future as well you have to really understand like who are you in uh, the present moment and what will you do with your life and you already do have your goals but how's your well-being how's your spiritual self how is your you know your emotional state okay look at us state of our body that shit okay because i feel like you're 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 doing too much like relax the future ain't gonna run away for you because you are creating the future yourself so take time because i feel like what you're losing here you need to understand that like with every loss there is a gain sometimes people come out of their uh come out of your life cut out of your life for a reason okay a reason for you to breathe a reason for you to learn from a lesson that you know that creates this different character of who you are okay so don't hold too much of like uh, aggression towards the people around you just because they don't agree with how you know your your views of life because always remember people are changing okay because i feel like right now you're trying to control everything and it's not doing right by you okay you need to let things flow and understand that like things will come into their own place why it is what it is okay because in order to move forward is to let go of a lot of shit from the past you you saying you want to walk around with like a boulder up your ass no damn you strong but like i don't want to be walking around with like a ball and a chain on my leg and that's all my you know resentment you need to let go of that resentment in order to open this door okay all right spirit wants you to heal from whatever you are grieving from from the past here okay you have a lot of trust issues aries and you need to fix that by having your own space learn from like you know observing other people from afar instead of just like you know huh always doing some crazy shit try to be a different sign learn how to be an aquarius like observe and just be like wow this is what life is <laughs> it sounds a bit cracked but you'll get what i mean when you create your own sacred uh you know space okay because when you create your own space sacred space you have power and control over it and you feel content within uh your own energy and your own company because i feel like aries your deepest secret even though you're independent and you're a leader whatever blah 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 blah, blah you guys are like the hardcore lovers 
okay even up it's, it's coming from a pisces i'm a pisces and i feel that aries love hard you it's really hard to get rid of like an aries because they fight for you like literally like it's war <laughs> okay like how like cordy low you know what i'm saying and um i feel that you just oh you you need to like all of these things okay because the past is not going to help you unless you allow yourself to release this shit okay all right what else do you want to say spirit what else do you want to say yeah you have to have more gratitude for yourself and understand you need a break because girl there's something at your workplace or something like that that you're not you know cleansing yourself i feel like you need a cleanse you need your own personal space okay all right so that was for you aries i hope that resonated leo so we have the two of pentacles here okay Wow. You obviously don't feel like the top of the world right now, Leo. Okay, and I feel like Spirit really wants you to like balance these things out for yourself. Um, even though that's the next element's uh, oracle card, I feel like, you know, that word is very important to you because I feel like at this point in time, you're you're letting things make or people make decisions for you here, okay? All right, and like I feel like you're you're looking over the versions or you know past you know uh how do i say yeah versions of yourself and not really really blaming yourself okay all right and i feel like you you still want justice for the things that have happened already but you don't realize sometimes the universe gives you closure through different things let's say um someone could owe you something and you want that closure and the universe will give it to you um in a form of a friend in a form of a, a new job opportunity sometimes you don't see it because you're too focused on that one person or situation of the past that it needs to come that it needs to come from um that toxic uh, you know period of your life you need to understand that like there are other sources that give you that but sometimes you need to look at it at a different perspective here okay all right because with the two of pentacles here you used to be like you know juggling um a lot of things but you're gonna you're going to come out of that okay you're going to come out of that stage where you're always going to be you know it feels like in the past you were always chosen to be you know second place here okay all right and it feels like there's a lot of things that you need to appreciate about yourself appreciate that you're breathing right now appreciate that you know the world and the wheel of fortune is actually changing around for you okay because i do see like these doors opening it is what it is you need to see that with every hardship is a projection of how strong you are okay you need to keep thriving to be that because i feel like leo's in the past you have you have always uh not always but more so put yourself in situations where it was very um more like a cage okay you know, a lion in a cage, but now you're free, okay? But you don't know what to do with this freedom because you never really given this choice, okay? Never been able to really make a choice for yourself because it's always been chosen by other people, manipulated, uh, gaslighted, you know, all that jam, okay? And I feel like right now you need to really decide for yourself, what do you want to do with your life? Because I feel like you don't know who you are because the people that have hurt you has built this alter ego version of you okay that you've just adapted to and then you know you just slowly turn that into like a anger very angry ego version of yourself there's different versions of ourselves that always evolve okay there's one that you know is created by the people that surround us the trauma okay that's the ego death right and then there's an ego where you built for yourself after all that pain you realize that this is um, the things in your life that you control you control everything in your life okay everything comes to you when you actually focus on yourself here okay that time is no more i feel like right now you are being guided to like 
not be afraid. Don't be afraid of what's ahead. Be more afraid of yourself actually not wanting to, um, how do I say this? Achieve the things that you used to be so scared of, okay? Because sometimes, like a lot of the times, fear is the answer to your problem. Because that fear is that blockage, that fear is that obstacle that you need to overcome. Okay, Leo? Because if you keep, you know, being that lion in the cage, you're not going to go anywhere. You're going to be in a circus, you know, that, 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 after a shit, okay? You don't want to be that, all right? Okay, let's see. With the two of pentacles here. And I feel like it's good. You are going to move out from this phase. Like, spirit really um, wants you to be more focused on who you are as a person. Really find your inner child here. Because your inner child is lost. You, you've you had a lot of issues with your childhood here. Okay. And it's just been so hard for you to find out who you are. Because you observe other people like, wow, I wish I could be them. But like, it's like a lion literally looking at a bird. Okay. Looking at the bird is like, wow. Like, because you know how animals, they don't know what they look like. They just, you know. Except for like other animals telling them what they look like, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but they really don't know what they look like. But you're this lion looking at birds and admiring the feathers. And like, obviously, let's just say they're talking together like, wow. You look beautiful with those feathers. I can see all the colors and everything. Like you're complimenting so many of the other animals, but you don't realize who you are. And then when you finally drink water and you're like sad and you're moping about, you're like... Who am I? Like, what am I? People are saying that I'm this. People are saying I'm that. But when you finally take a look at yourself by yourself with no one around, you'll see a powerful lion in the a reflection of the lake. That lion is going to look at uh, the water and be like, that's me. I'm a powerful lion. Because that's you. That's your animal. That's your symbol, Leo. You need to fight for yourself now. Stop molding this image because of other people's opinions, okay? Because spirit doesn't want you to listen to that. Spirit wants you to start making decisions for yourself, okay? Alright? Period. Alright. So that was for you, Leo. I hope that resonated. But we're going to move on to Sagittarius whoa that's different sorry i like tapped into your energy sagittarius and i felt this big like change like around your heart chakra and it just exploded and i was like oh what is this about i like it i like a lot okay Whoa, Sagis, you're going through something here. Wow. Okay. The magician. Alright. Oh my god, hey man. Hey, what's up, guys? Anyways, so the magician card here. This came out in reverse. But I feel like something or someone or a lesson is here in your life right now. Okay. Spirit wants you to um buckle up your shit and get ready because <laughs> you're in for a little bit of ride okay because um you're going to be i feel like lately i don't know why you guys are doing this to yourself but obviously it's karma for something in the past okay um i feel that you guys are comparing yourself okay a lot of comparing yourself with a lot of uh, people friends lover around like you know lovers around you just like those people or even family members okay and um you're really deeply attached like you do it to yourself like you don't tell anybody but you just sit there but i can see it through your actions okay that you do so much to try and change yourself and mold yourself and like try out new things or like even have this trait where you copy other people's um certain parts of their um personality here 
okay? And it's just like, it's fun for you, but at the same time, it's like you're seeking for something. Like, oh, I want to. I want to. I want to feel powerful here, okay? But you, you are going to that stage, and what what that karmic cycle you're going to go through is that you're going to meet someone that is going to be um, like a parallel opposite of you or a better version of you, okay? And you're going to actually have to reflect on that and understand that, like, hey, remember this before I jump into anything else, okay, Sagittarius? You are what you attract. Understand this. Every person in your life, they've come for a reason. It's no Kobe said ounce, okay? Literally, you need to understand that you your vibration is a magnet of the same energy. So whatever you are vibrating out, it's going to come straight back to you in a form of a person, in a form of a bill, anything, okay? That's how karma works and that's how energy works as well. You know, when your energy is low, you're going to be hanging out with low vibrational people. People that, you know, feel very depressed within themselves. Um, very, you know, confined, closed-minded. You know, you know the whole jam. And when you're high vibrational, you're, you know, you're content with yourself. You love yourself fully. And you're always open towards, you know, obstacles in your way. Because you know that there are lessons to be learned from them to really, um, you know, develop your character. Okay? Within... Um, the future okay and i feel like that's what you are learning right now because for the longest time sad you, you were just around people that were addicts to drugs okay or you know very bossy boohoo okay bossy boohoo this um you know gossip this you know immature type of energy low vibrational energies okay but i feel like you're removing yourself from that because you're looking at them you're like wow i'm bored <laughs> so, so you get bored so easily and the thing is you t you don't really tell anyone you just you tell through your actions you just you just get up and go <laughs> and i feel like that's what you're you're going to move out from you're gonna move out from the immature phase of your life and turn into this magician that's what i felt in the beginning that the universe wants you to prepare for because you're going to meet people that are very powerful people that are going to really test um your confidence your ego and you need to understand that like hey if you're hanging out with these people or you know associating with these people that you feel jealous of bitch it's just foreshadowing um your future okay it's foreshadowing your success it's foreshadowing the mindset of how you are going to evolve into i've seen it happen in my life i was there one time in my life a few times actually because you know I was a teenager, right? But I saw myself evolve through all of that shit. And um, I'd always like be like you. Just always like thinking in my head, people are better than me. But, but now I have this mindset where it's like, hold up, if you're in my life, that means in the future, I'm probably most likely potential have a millionaire mindset. Wow, how beautiful, right? So you need, it's all about perspective. And I've, uh, perspective and I feel like, this person or a situation is going to come into your life to enlighten that for you. Okay, Sagittarius. So be prepared for that. Okay? Because it is what it is. And like, that's the, that's the main phrase for you. I don't know why this is important to you, Sagis, But like, this is this is your, um, this is your role. This is your, your motto. It is what it is. Okay? You're going to see like a lot of people leave your life. But you're going to like not make a fuss about it. Because I feel like before Sagi, you would always just like be fussed and like try to make a scene but you're like you know what fuck it if you want to leave so be it you're probably going to come back in my life anyways it is what it is you know what i'm saying okay you're going to be more carefree in the right way not more so carefree in the way where you're like fuck you you love me because you have a new relationship blah blah blah, blah, blah. all the shit leaving you alone and you know that's your biggest fear <laughs> kind of being alone you want someone to enjoy your you know adventures because sad is not gonna lie when you're alone and you're really really sad and you don't really have a conscious mind you you do some stupid shit huh? okay and um i feel like this time around this cycle is gonna really help you involve yourself into the magician here the magician is very very powerful okay loki has um i don't even know what that is is that a whip wow he kinky 50 shades of gray it's a rhyme. 
I can't it. <laughs> but yeah, the magician holds so many powers and you're going to start to realize that all you had to do in order to thrive and regain power within yourself is perspective. It's all about your perspective of, um, you know, how you see life and how you see a person and how you specifically see yourself. Right? That's what I was telling um Leo in the previous in their in their reading. It's like they don't know who they are until they actually look at themselves and realize the power that they have. And I feel like you guys know that you have the power, it's just that you don't know how to direct it, okay? Alright, and spirit just really wants you to, you know, get ready for this because you got a big spiritual awakening. Okay, alright, Saji, like you got this shit. Cause like you're you're done with this. You're evolving into this. I feel like in the next few days, and it. Oh, sorry. I had some a message like come into me, and my eyes were like, okay. <laughs> in the next four weeks, number four is very significant to you. And that just shot in my brain. Um, you're gonna physically change. I don't know what the fuck it is, but like you are going to actually hands down change your energy so fast to the point where your body is just gonna be like in a glow up stage that no one even expected it to be like your body composition the way that you feel about yourself and you won't even notice you won't notice like time flies by when you're having fun when you're doing things for yourself when you're actually feeling good and like honestly like doing the healing work okay like you're going to change and you're gonna be very attractive like you already are attractive now so geez, but you're gonna be like like schmick okay like damn like magician mm, okay all right guys so that was for you sagis i hope that resonated for a personal reading check out my website okay link to my bio code mystic siren web okay all right guys so that was like <laughs> the what was these ones yeah the fire signs yeah taurus virgo capricorn okay <laughs> Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, balance. Okay. Okay, Spirit wants you to um, see what is balancing and worth to really have in your life. Not physical objects here, earth signs, more so energies, okay? The things that you hold within yourself, different opinions of like certain sensitive topics here, okay? Um basically a lot to do with your trauma as well and like you know why you don't like certain things that you don't like anymore you need to release that resentment here okay it's time to um, balance out your feminine and your masculine energies okay so this is what the card says um, it says i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do so without judgment okay all right yeah because i feel like <laughs> you kind of chuck a little bit of um an aquarius type of trait here i feel like when you go out or lately you've kind of been in your own cocoon but like or you have your own little small tiny circle or even one person it doesn't really matter here but i feel like you you know you have to be really, really careful with gossip, the things that you say, because what goes around comes around, okay? You don't want to keep attracting them, that chaotic energy in your life here, okay? It's time to really rebalance that and um, understand the scales um, of the universe here. Because I just saw scales on my girl. You, mm, <laughs> you, you got to balance yourself out, okay? Know what's right from wrong, okay? All right, so that was the collective card for all of my earth signs. I'm going to take out um, a little extra oracle card for the earth signs. Okay, let's see. Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, whoa. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Taurus, Virgo. Capricorn, what do you have? Where's the Capricorn? Oh, wow. So we have the waking of the lion. Look at that. With the number 19, so the number 10, there's new beginnings coming into your life here. I feel like you're in a stage right now where you're obviously your, your, your guides are going to um, guide you towards this um, 
higher power of ego. Like this is a healthy ego. I feel like they want you to get rid of this alter ego. You know how you feel good, a boss as a bitch. You know, you feel like you're better than everybody. But, you know, when with saying that, sometimes you do think things or say things that are kind of out of line and not reflected onto yourself that you may have these aspects, okay? It's always like, you know, um, trying to understand a person and why they are like that instead of putting them down for it because it makes you feel better. You get what I'm saying? I'm not coming to attack you. We've all done it once a few times in our lives, okay? But we grow out of that mindset um, you know, a child mindset, you know, how they want to bully other people because, like, you know, they have, like, a self-love and everything like that. And that's something that you've struggled with for a very, very long time. But you're going to grow out of it here, okay? And it's only up to you, okay? All right? Because there's some type of form of power that is going to um, arise within your energy and you're going to feel like a whole new person. You're going to do something with your hair. You're going to... You're going to do something with your hair, okay, girl? Um, diet, blonde, bleach hair. You're going you're gonna to feel different. And when, when you feel different, trust me, honey, baby, you look different, okay? You look different. And it comes to you naturally. You don't choose it because it's a, like a, a trend. You choose it because you personally like it for yourself, okay? All right, and that's what happens when you come into balance. When you come into balance, you become more aware of yourself and the people around you. And, um, you know, there it comes like a calm period of time in your life because you, you're balancing yourself. You're working with the universe instead of against it, okay? All right, let's get into Taurus. So where am I Taurus at? Taurus, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Hello, hello, my Taurans. Stay recorded and press on my YouTube channel in the next two to three days, okay? Definitely before my life, okay? My next life, which is on Wednesday. Okay. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, let's see what we have for you from here. Oh. Okay, I'm going to do that again because two cards flipped out. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Wow, look at you. Okay, Taurus. That goes really well together. Balancing yourself out, learning how to Yeah, I feel like Taurus, this is a good thing for you. Okay. You're moving you're move oh, sorry, what the heck? You're removing yourself from a different version of yourself. Like you're shedding a skin, but like honey, you're getting a new weave or something. You're getting a new energetic look. An energetic look is way better than a physical look, okay? Because you, you vibe with a person, you know, you can have long conversations and you feel rejuvenated in a person's, you know, atmosphere, okay? That's what you have. You're going to have a very magnetic uh, energy where people want to take it, okay? So really be aware of that, Taurus. So be careful that people from the past may arise because they are arising for ill intent, they're not arising for good intentions. They're here because you're the light. You're the light. I'm a light. Yeah, that's you, okay? But we have the six of wands here. You're going to have new opportunities, like, flow into your life. You're going to really um, surround yourself with healthy and energetic, um, you know, same-minded people, okay? And where it's going to bring you a lot of, like, financial opportunity, um, recognition, a lot to do with your status, okay popularity okay because i do see that you're going to have a lot of attention and um it's just, it's just a new vibe about you it's like it's nothing that you anyone has seen before you're coming out of a uh, a shell you're killing your old version of yourself to be on this high horse okay it reminds me of this one called high horse from um from uh, uh i don't know her name but mcgraves there you go high horse it's a vibey country type of pop song but that's how i'm feeling taurus okay you're going to be on top of your shit you're going to pick yourself up from whatever that has made you you know feel off balance here okay yeah waking up the lion here new beginnings for yourself i really do see that like um a lot of your solo flex is going to be rejuvenated yeah that one i love that song right that's her name casey McGraves, Musgraves, there you go, 
that's how you say your name sorry <laughs> but um yeah i feel like look at this look at this new look like i literally feel that you're going to like your whole figure is going to change like everything like what i said before here like you're, you're just changing here okay and when you do see opportunity in your life listen to your intuition because i feel like this yellow blanket here is like a protection like type of like cloak it's like um the invisible cloak in like the you know deathly hollows harry potter you know that stuff the thing that was the blanket that um somebody gave him harry potter for christmas that okay that protects you all right and since this is yellow it wants you to really bring out your creativity okay your intuition your inner light because your inner light is what guides you towards the things that um you deserve sometimes the things that you don't even know that uh know consciously or think that you deserve in your life because like honey like everything's changing about you and you're gonna have to be ready for that and i feel like this isn't a joyous a joyous sorry joyous type of like um time okay in the next few days this is gonna go on for a long time actually <laughs> okay so you're going to have like people follow you not like psychotically more so like people are gonna be like oh they change something about them is like attractive okay like this whole version of you is gonna be amplified into a very um you know beautiful beautiful sight um it's like you walk into the room and all the attention is on you it's like oh who's that you know like they just want you to be prepared for it because you're going to hit that mid bounce and understand how to you know be consistent with yourself and your energy okay so that is for you Taurus, I hope that resonated because it's going to really um, feel fun, but also don't fall off the horse and take advantage of your ego because this is your time to mold who you want to be, okay? Not because of what other people molded you to be because I feel like people in the past have molded you to be uptight, stuck up, very, you know, closed-minded, very stubborn, like all these negative things but now you're going to have a shift a time a spiritual awakening of renewing yourself by your terms and your decisions like honey look at that look at that okay so anyways we're gonna move on to virgo all right that was a beautiful reading i like that i liked that a lot okay virgo wow that's cute virgo Summarizing in Venus. There go, summarizing in Venus. Oh, let me just reshuffle that. I don't know why this came out. One card, please. Okay. So, what we have here is the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, you're starting something new. Huh? You're starting something new, Virgo. Okay, Um, I see this is like um a business thing. But like... You're, it feels like your guides really are encouraging you to really chase for the things that you never think that is going to uh, be sustainable for yourself here. You're thinking of doing something. I don't know if you, you're saving for something right now, but you're doing the right thing. Or this is a message for you that you need to save. Some of you guys are emotionally spending. <laughs> um yeah because I, I really do see that like you're trying to save but you're spending on other things because you get very very distracted um i don't know if some of you guys have adhd in the chat or add or like you know hyperactive awareness of like you, you get distracted easily okay you got that issue okay don't worry me too <laughs> okay and like you focus on one thing but you got other projects going on here okay um yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles, you've you've dealt with a lot of losses. You've dealt with a lot of like sabotage from trusted, uh, you know, coworkers, uh, more so friends that you thought that were friends here. And you've obviously you it feels like you just left society and uh you built your own, you built your own like kingdom, okay, your own like um. Uh, house like a cottage and your your own crops and it's so cute you make your own fancy dishes and like you picked up like a a whole new you know hobby which is cute and i love that for you because i feel like this hobby of yours um 
from majority of you guys is going to really help your life financially okay because like these pentacles are coming up and it's like wow you're really proud of your work you're really proud of something that you've really discovered that you're good at because i feel like the people that you used to surround yourself with would deem that to be like that's not sustainable uh that doesn't seem realistic that doesn't seem like you know that's good for you blah 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 they like trying to shape you towards their eyes and their preference but they don't understand that you're an individual that is original and you are not them okay and you've really cut your circle towards like a very minimum you even cut it towards yourself or like you had one or two people in your life or like even recently and like it's just more of like a calm smooth sailing right now okay and this is why you know the waking lying and is here like new beginnings the full came out before okay and it's definitely a new beginning for you that you don't even see like you have no idea that you're doing something virgo that is gonna be very successful and vital for your life it's going to come to the surface soon and you're going to understand that like shit wow like i didn't i didn't, I didn't expect myself to be in this position or see whatever project you were doing to be successful it could be a small business it could be it's it's something that is very creative about you that you're bringing to light towards the world and you didn't really expect much from it because i feel like before virgo you have this tendency to always overly expect things okay when you expect things highly expect things they don't go your way but this is something that you don't expect it to like you know take off or anything like that it's just like you know, whatever, I'm just going to go with the flow. You making that decision is going to give you a gift financially, okay? Like, this is amazing. Like, this is a different phase of your life where you're going to feel very confident about your step, like, you know, more of your work ethic, the way, the like, who you are. Because I feel like this is good karma coming into your life, Virgo, that you finally are going to s start to see your achievements, the the um the plants that you have grown are going to be harvested and you're going to look at yourself and be like damn i'm going to have some self-gratitude like this balance in your life is going to really like come in and i feel like in obviously in the beginning of the reading there was like this toxic traits that a lot of you earth signs had where um you would give evil eye blah 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 and like you know you would you would protect yourself because that's your defense mechanism because like people in the past would always take advantage of your niceness okay but now you're a bitch but now you're changing into an evolved bitch but you're not a bitch anymore because you're a boss bitch right and i feel like this is so good for you that like you're 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 able to freely make decisions and do something that you love you're gonna find your passion if you don't know what you're doing with your life spirit wants you to know that they're it's so cute because i'm seeing a vision of like <laughs> no some, someone's angel like putting like seeds but they're like pentacles in the ground and um you can't see them but like they're doing a lot for you more than you think like you have to go through whatever you had to really venture through in the past that hardship in order to um be where you are all that shit of all that losing people that you loved um projects businesses jobs was meant to happen for you to find your passion to for you to find something life-changing for you okay to reunite with yourself in in a balanced mode okay i really feel so good about this i really feel so good at first it was spicy but like why wow, you earth signs are like like literally evolving and not even knowing you're just stepping on gold you don't even know you are gold you're shining and everyone's like oh, how and you're like i don't know <laughs> it just comes because you have finally let go of just overthinking about the past and the future and i told you that being present with yourself has power over everything when you think of who you are and respect yourself right now everything will be in your favor because you are projecting this energy of light you're not projecting this fakeness you are projecting love and um you know this harmony and when you're projecting it from internally it just means like you are what you attract you are going to bring harmonious people into your life and um i see that like i see like this whole i don't know like, like this farm that you guys are on obviously like in this scenery where you're building your stuff and like you have like a co-worker there helping you and like 
you have this whole big business. It's it's like those movies where it's like uh the stores like you know going to be evicted, and then at the end of the movie. It becomes like this whole big happy family of co-workers and it's well-functioning. Money is coming in and everything like that. That's the vibe that I'm feeling. Something is going to really uh, help you, okay, in your financial side of things, okay? All right? I like that. Spirits, like, keep, keep looking at the sunrise because that's what gives you hope, okay? You guys need to go to um, have some vitamin D, okay? Not... The not the D, but like the sun D, okay? Around somebody's son or daughter or whatever you like, okay? All right, anyways, that was for you, Virgo. I hope that uh, resonated, but we're going to move on to uh, Capricorn. So where are my Capricorns? Capricorn. Ooh. Okay. Wow. What is this Knight of Swords here? We've got a fast-moving, fast-paced energy coming through. Okay. What the hell? Okay, so I saw um, a vision of, like... I'm, I'm having very vivid... A little, sorry. Vivid visions right now. <laughs> okay, so the Knight of Swords... I don't know what it is. But, like, someone is going to give you give you something i don't know if it's a form of a gift but like they're rushing through someone is gonna because like i just saw the star like it reminds me of the star card of course obviously very iconic aquarian energy that's their card but um yeah you're gonna have some form of communication that's going to um be very enlightening for you okay it's gonna change your your thoughts and your your whole decisions of like whatever you were going through because like i don't know what it is i'm I'm trying to sense is this someone from the past here or is this someone or something new that is going to be presented to you because i see that there is a new opportunity for you either you know um within recognition promotion that's promotion you're gonna get a promotion or something i don't know but you're gonna level up in whatever you are um like you know doing within your life okay not elevating just in um your just your energy because like you know when your energy elevates new opportunities come in your life here okay and it's like waking this line like you you have this one person that's rushing in to give you this vital piece of information that is going to change your life here okay i don't know if you're waiting on something and you've been a little bit worried about it everything is going to go in your favor okay that's a message for yeah sorry. that that's a message for someone out there they they had to really dig it in my head they're like yeah Tell, tell the Capricorns that, that yeah they were doing that to me and I was like I get it how many times do you need to push it down on my head my crown chakra is like oh my gosh but it's okay it's alright yeah it's definitely a form of information that is going to come I don't know if it's a check but it, it it's it's something that you've never expected to really have or you've probably thought about it or waited on and like this could be a sum of money um something that is really really valuable is going to be um you know announced and a surface in your life here okay and spirit wants you to take that opportunity okay so you're going to have an opportunity that is going to be um, sustainable for you in some type of way yes yeah my washing machine be like that <laughs> okay but like yeah so you you got this and i feel like with this horse is that a horse or a unicorn is that a horn no that's his ear <laughs> uh, the white horse here i feel like this is this out of like purity this is something that um you will know deep down when it comes to you okay this is a message of uh you know greatness coming in oh my god you got a gift coming through i don't know if it's like some type of closure here but it's gonna make you feel powerful it's gonna make you feel like a star it's 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 crazy it's awakening like this healthy ego out of you where it's like i feel great more power yummy 
this is not negative power. This is like coming out of the good deeds that you've done in the past. Good karma is coming to you, okay? So really uh, be prepared for that because that's going to really come into your life, okay? All right? So that was for you. I feel like that's all the messages that I have. But this is going to be a new beginning for you, Capricorn. I don't know what the fuck it is, but like I saw him rushing in with the sword. You know, finding all these bitches. Like, fuck you. Uh, my, my message is very important. I have the star here, okay? Like, I don't know what it is, but it's something that's going to help you in your life here, okay? All right. I don't know if it's a house. It's something. It could be anything because the star is like a wild card to me. So it's like, I don't know if it's money. I don't know if it's like a lover. I don't know if it's like communication of closure. I don't know what it is. But it's whatever in your life because everyone's different. And even though you guys are Capricorns, we have different placements in our charts. So it depends on your situation. You are going to have luck within um, you know, the next few months, which is going to be great. Oh my God, I love it. Woo! Wow, it really shot me in the face. It was like, oh, I need to bring this star. I'm like, okay, cool. <laughs> so that was for you, Capricorn. But we're going to move on towards um, the... Who's next? The Earth sign. The Air signs. The Air signs. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So huddle, huddle, huddle in. Just give me a sec to remove this. We have... Indecision, my bitches. Okay. Remember, guys, if you want to contact me, contact me through email and I'll be happy to answer your questions and uh, your bookings. Okay. All right. So, indecision. I use my intuition in all aspects of life. Hello, my air signs. <sighs> oh. You're having a rough time. Like, I'm seeing, like, this weird uh, puzzle Rubik's Cube that you're solving that you're kind of overcompensating too much about it. It's like, mm, I don't know what it is. Like, I'm seeing a situation where it's like, I'm there with you, my air signs, but you're not looking at the bigger picture <laughs> of something. You're too focused on, like, this Rubik's Cube. And you're like, this has the answer to it right but like not me being a pisces I, I think a little bit too creative like you know vividly and uh, up there in the clouds and so i'm just standing there like maybe it's not the ribbon's crew maybe it's there to revert your distraction from something else that is the key towards your issue you know and i'm sitting there like wow where did my brain cells go I feel smart. <laughs> so, and I'm, I feel like spirit just wants you to see things from a different perspective. And you're good at looking at different pers perspectives for um, problem solving, uh, like towards different individuals that are external from you. But when it comes towards you, you're like sitting there like, damn it, my heart's a Rubik's Cube and I can't fucking solve that shit. You know, <laughs> it's so hard, right? You focus too hard, but it's something so simple. Okay, because um, there's like this um, wall here. And like, I, I just imagined like this, we were given this um, riddle where it's like, the key is the Rubik's Cube. Is is the Rubik's. And I'm just like, yeah, but they didn't say cube. So what else is a Rubik's, you know? And it's like, I'm looking around and there's this wall. Okay, it's like different colors. And I'm like, maybe that's the Rubik's Cube. And then, like, I'm, I'm here with you, Air Signs, and we're, like, figuring it out. And that ends up to be the key. All right? In this analogy, in this scenario, which I'm trying to project to you. Sorry, my mind a little bit um, uh, DMT-like. <laughs> okay? But, like, you're, you're fighting with the... You, there's a problem here that you don't want to let go. Okay? You're making too much of an issue of something that is easily solved. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Right? It's like, well, the key is the wall. Like, damn it, the door's like right there. <laughs> Why didn't we just go through there? Okay. Okay. <sighs> but there's something going on here. But I don't know what it is. But you have to use your intuition. Think outside of the box. Okay, be a little bit creative. Okay, don't construct yourself towards society norms. 
not everything has to be perfect i feel like what you're dealing with right now air signs uh, a little bit overly you know a case of just ocd and um you know a little bit of high expectations that cannot be met <laughs> all right okay but anyways let's move into the individual uh actually no one more one more oracle card i almost figured out sorry my bad okay air signs let's go let's see indecision indecision let's get some more spirit what do you want to tell my air oh my did i just say like a high perspective this literally says a higher view there's nothing more to it oh my god and it's number 41 so number five it's time to change the patterns of how you are thinking okay a higher view like look at it i feel like you you are so creative and you help other people air signs but then when it comes towards you it's just very hard for you to see what is so simple okay because you are so complex and sometimes the people around you since they seek so much of advice from you um they do it so much to the point where they haven't really had the time to understand you and that's where you sit with yourself and like damn i'm so complex and i can't even like figure out myself you know and I feel like you actually need a psychic to tell you like, ah, uh, yeah, you're doing something wrong there. Because I feel like the people around you that are close to you are so kind of like afraid to kind of confront you because you've done so much for them and um, blah, blah, blah. All right. You need to have one, at least one friend that is like, hey, you're acting like a bitch and you need to stop doing that. Right. In a good way. In a good way. Right. Okay. let's see let's start off with gemini so where are my gemini's at hey 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 that is so true the complicated is the simplicity of moving yeah we can think so much but are we gonna put action to it period All right, Gemini, let's see what's going on. What high perspective do you need to know? Sorry, Gemini, Sun, Rising, Venus. Gemini, Sun. Ooh. Let me just clear this out. I didn't feel like Gemini. Gemini, Aquarius. Gemini, sorry. Gemini, Sun, Rising, Venus. What the hell is going on? Okay. Okay, Gemini, I, th I don't know if you had this twice, but we have the Five of Cups here. You're still holding yourself hostage in uh, your own regrets, in your own pool of decisions that you are not proud of, okay? All right, or you're thinking in a situation where, like, I should have done this, I should have done that, blah, 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 blah. To kind of just change the circumstances that you are in. The consequences you are facing. Karma. Whatever it is. Okay? I, I want you guys to realize that. like, Know that it's time to learn from your decision making. Okay? Don't just sit there and really just you know, put this hate. Put this hatred upon yourself for not being a better person. But that's how we learn. Understand that every mistake you do is an opportunity for you to learn. Okay? You need to look, yes. The positive outlook of um, who you are as a person and, um, you know, how you can do better. Don't put yourself down because of, you know, the consequences you are, you know, facing. Okay? They are there to test your abilities, to strengthen your um your your resilience okay your courage your bravery all right because you're putting yourself down so hard it's like how did i end up like this you need to stop expecting that everything is going to be perfect pitch perfect blah 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 stop comparing people to people okay you need to stop that and really ask yourself how are you going to do this for yourself what do i need to change about myself in order to attract the right energy to attract healthier energy, not even just the right, sorry, right is not the right word, healthy energy, 
is the correct way of saying that. Because when I say right, you would just think of like, I need a pitch perfect person. I need a pitch perfect blah, blah, blah. Everything, right? Okay? The right, right. The right man, the right situation, blah, blah, blah. You can't really choose. It's what your energy chooses. So if you keep being in this uh, state of in denial and refusing to move out from a place and this it's it's not the hermit mode hermit mode is where you progressively actually reflect on yourself but you see how the five of cups you're looking into your elbows you're crying into your elbows but you're not looking up to see um the situation in a higher perspective okay and you're at this indecision like i want to let go of this regret i want to let go of these feelings i want to let go of this in order for you to let go of whatever you are dealing with okay spirit wants you to to actually have a space of your own okay and learn to be in your own company okay like i know this is like a probably a universal fear of being alone but this is that's what you are you don't want to be alone you want to be nurtured not even nurtured actually you want to be understood for who you are your love language and everything like that but you see how like the stereotype for you guys is it's very difficult for you to understand who you are emotionally and how you feel about yourself is how people going are going to react around you how they are going to talk to you you don't understand yourself or if you don't like yourself you don't fully accept every flaw and you know appreciate the um beautiful parts of you gemini and the people around you are not going to respect you they are going to reflect the same feelings that you feel about yourself you can sit there saying to yourself i hate you every single day to the mirror blah 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 i'm a shitty person but that's not gonna help and complaining about it, saying like, I'm never going to find a, uh, you know, a good friendship. I'm never going to f- trust again because blah, blah, blah. People are never going to trust you because you're not opening yourself up. Okay? So you need to make this decision of like, are you going to lose, like remove yourself from your old version where you would always think these ways about yourself and never really tell anybody? Because like, you know, I know this. You air signs especially Gemini, you guys know how to hide your pain. But I can see right through you because I have a Gemini rising, so um, that's, I guess that's cheating, but um, it's okay. <laughs> I have privileges, okay? I was born with this rising, okay? I was Gemini within the hour, born after my mother, but it's okay, okay? All right, but I feel like you need to look up and realize that you still have these two cups here. Whatever you are going through, Gemini, always understand. Please, always understand. There is always a prize after. Okay? There's always a lesson to be learned, but then there is also a good karma. There is a good reward when you accept whatever you have just went through and move on from it like a fucking king. Okay? I know it's hard, but sometimes we all need to be broken in order to flourish and be successful within whatever we are doing um who we are as a person you know and you see all these um you know successful people up there um even tiktok influences or whatever whoever you look up to they don't start with a perfect life they start out with hardship and that's what creates them the, this energy of you know encouragement you know um it makes you feel inspired and you want to be that but where do you start you start by loving yourself you start by understanding why you do these things and that it all, it all comes back towards your inner child issues okay when you identify them and you act upon them and progressively do baby steps to um hold yourself back and surrender a little bit stand up for yourself here and there and you learn how to work yourself if you do that, your life will change. Your The people that you are going to um, be with are going to be different. You're going to lose people, but you're going to regain a new community of um, you know, evolved people. And you are going to evolve. 
but you need to understand that you need to go through this necessary change of living behind the past of your old version of yourself in order to get new opportunities of your forgiveness and closure for yourself because i feel like what you need right now is time for yourself Gemini. okay all right and not time for yourself to cry time for yourself to reflect look at yourself in the mirror or a lake whatever reflection and start with you don't start with the things of the past people of the past you start with you because when you start with you everything that you wish for and that you wish you could have or you know an opportunity of like a conversation or closure will come to you automatically in time okay all right that's how the universe works okay how you feel is a projection of how your environment is okay all right so that was for you gemini i hope that resonated for you okay Libra, Libra sign, moon rising in Venus. Libra sign, moon rising in Venus. Let's see what's happening. Libra sign, moon rising in Venus. Okay, Libra. So we have the three of cups here. Look at that. Beautiful. With the three of cups, I feel like there's going to be a lot more socializing here i feel like your guides are very spontaneous type of energy where they're gonna push you towards like you're going to have a lot of invitations or you're gonna have a lot of like things popping up in your life or people wanting you to hang out with them it's because they want your energy to move and shift okay because libra i feel like you stayed in one spot for too long okay and you need to explore the world okay you need to explore different energies okay you need to bring back your inner child you know how like the teenagers we like to be um rebellious and uh go out have fun this is something that your angels want you to do they want you to like you know form a pathway where you can have uh different connections okay experience like um uh, different people than the same people that you always like you know go find yourself with here okay you're gonna bring yourself back out of um into the world society talking okay like in, in you know organizing parties or you, you're, you're doing something you're drinking something here okay all right because i see parties here with the three of cups three of cups is always about like you know um you know having a toast having a congratulations on something here okay and they want you to indulge in that they want you to socialize i feel like socializing is an important message for you here okay because it's going these people don't be afraid of interacting because that's how you guys have closed yourself off for a long time because you've been hurt blah 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 but that's how you learn that's how you learn different love languages is that's how you learn to adapt to situations because you've seen other people adapt to it and you take these traits like humans do that um, unintentionally we don't know it but we take different traits of people that we meet because it inspires us you know it creates a bit of um a uniqueness of themselves and we want that part of ourselves and that, and that's fine it's completely cool right it's like a trend everyone wants to be a part of it you know but they make it their own type of like way to make it unique to to get the algorithm likes blah 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 views okay because i feel like you're going to have a battle with your introvertedness okay or extrovertedness you're going to really um you know have to yeah put yourself out there for something that you need to do like it could be even a job that you have to socialize um but you're gonna be um uh, you know using your social battery a lot so spirit wants you to like cleanse yourself okay and really be aware that there are other people that are out for your energy as well it could be jealous of you okay because you know libra sexy as fuck period right okay and i feel like that's the message here for you because i'm gonna number 41 there's gonna be a big change here like your lifestyle is going to change and this is a new type of um arena <laughs> a new environment for you that you're going to um have to adapt to okay all right i feel like that's all i have um 
for you Libra it's a pretty short message but there there's definitely something here you're gonna grow branches you're gonna grow connections in order like your your guys are pushing you to to make um bonds with people so if they can help you uh for future reasons here uh, they're not gonna tell then they're, they're not telling me what but they're planning something and this is this is mandatory to actually bring uh your aura around new people here okay all right, be prepared for that. Cleanse sage when you come back home. Okay. All right, guys. Now we're on to Aquarius. I love green. Okay. Let's see. Aquarius, Sun, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's happening. Aquarius. Woo! One card, honey boo boo. Just one okay whoa okay whoa what is happening for you guys hey so aquarius uh what you have here is the nine of swords whoa what is this i feel a blockage okay or you know decision making here okay uh you're going through it especially for you venuses uh aquarius venus i don't know why that popped up but it, it's very strong okay it's not really mostly about um you know your physical life uh your finances career whatever i feel like what Spirit is trying to tell you just like keep going okay that's the message keep going and understand that everything is happening for a reason okay all right and like this indecision that you're you know kind of in right now is deciding like how you are going to change yourself and you don't like changing yourself aquarius okay all right so venus if you guys don't know what venus is venus is your love aspect of things okay what you like Okay, Koreans are very detached in uh, the love aspect here and there. We like to observe. We like to see growth. We love to see it in a never-ending story, right? We like to see that. We're like, um, how do you say? It? We're like, we're like study scientists of like butterflies. I don't know what the fuck that is called, but you know what I'm saying, okay? Because with the Nine of Swords, it just always represents like you're very stuck in a situation, a mental situation, okay? Like, I feel like you have come to a point or a relationship or uh, a connection or uh, a realization, an epiphany that you are the trigger of a lot of self-sabotage and some connections or situations here, okay? Like, you need to uh, really look at yourself and, like, understand, like, what do I need to change? Like... They, spirit really is is asking you to do shadow work here because I feel like your inner demons are coming out. Like I feel like these are these entities are like different people, and this skull here is like reminding me of the death and uh, rebirth here. Okay, but this is all to yourself. Like you're not like you don't know where to go. Okay, you like it feels like you're trapped in your own thoughts, and like it's very hard for you to kind of adapt to it here okay we have this innocence here you're in a child as well you're in a child's crying and you're trying to make him uh it stop crying all right and you need to really um see that like the reason why that um you're going through this is because you've entered in uh, a stable space and when people enter other relationship or connection and they've come out of a unhealthy situation and they have never touched they have never experienced healthy love they tend to react towards what that something that is good in front of them you know because they always think to themselves like oh it's just whatever you're going to be temporary you're not going to be here for so long and like now it's time for you to open up yourself your inner child needs to come out you've blocked it off for so long because it, it feels like you're the the older sister or the the mom that's trying to protect them from the you know the horrors of the world corruption and all this stuff but you know that one day that you can't just keep holding them back from 
their own sense of freedom, right? The things that they want to do. Because the last time you did that, it was broken. It was broken, like, terribly. It was insane. It was something that tore you to pieces and that you were crying every single night. And that you you learned to live in the comfortability of pain and your demons. <laughs> okay? And, um... I feel like now that there's like there's like a piece of light. I don't know if, if you met another, if you met an air sign or you have someone in your life that um, has a very mysterious energy. Okay, I don't know what it is, but the energy is very new to you, and it challenges who you are as a person. Okay, I know this is a love reading, but spirit wants you to know that like the that. Like, look, spirit is literally symbolism of now. Bringing a person to you, okay? And it's making you cry. Even though it's you're not meant to make you cry, right? But, like, that's what happens when you mix someone that is so used to not being loved with someone that is used to being loved. Or you both have things that you need from each other. And I feel like what you're in right now is a karmic situation, and you, you karmic uh, relationships, uh, connections could be family, friends, or lovers. They represent, uh, you know, the same wounds as you. And I feel like all these wounds are coming out. And this is something that you need to uh, take into account. That like, are you going to sit there and keep reliving your past? Or are you going to grow and like change yourself? So you can be a better person for this person, but mainly for you first, okay? And they are going to reflect this energy to you, okay? Because Aquarius, remember, you are what you attract. So it's same thing goes. If you work on yourself, that will start to, uh, the people around you will start to understand that, whoa, you're changing. That means I have to change too. They don't consciously say it, but their energy will be like shifting with you. If their purpose and if their alignment is meant to be with you in your life story. Okay, and that's why you will start to see that a lot of friendships or things around you are falling apart. It's because it's meant to happen because your energy is evolving. You're trying to be a better person. You're trying to get rid of your triggers and you're trying to heal from being so abused from your previous relationships or connection. Okay, and like just know that like this, this connection, whatever you're in, is meant to help you heal and learn what healthy love is. Okay, and I want to, this is very important because the spirit is like, oh, talk about this. I'm like, okay, all right, all right. Understand that when you get into a relationship, the society norms is always like, yo, sometimes, you know, everyone, like everybody goes through this. We think that we just jump in and it's all romantic, rainbows, butterflies, it has to be perfect, right? But you tend to see a cycle where like it goes all, all good and all well and then it falls apart at the end in the next after let's say the third month mark right but this connection is going to be different okay whatever if it's coming in now or coming in soon okay um this connection is going to be in a reverse okay this connection is going to teach you that like they're going to present their true colors first and it's not going to be easy mm -hmm. It, it it's it's gonna be hard it's going to show you their true self their ego their negative sides and it feels like wow and it's gonna trigger every single part and bone of your trauma and you're gonna feel like i want to leave but something is telling you to stay for some reason your intuition is like no you need to go through this you need to go through the rut in order to see the rainbow behind all of this and it's true that's how relationships uh, are, you know, energetically supposed to work. It's not rainbows and butterflies first. It's the true colors first. You don't want to see the true colors after the fake shit that they presented to you because otherwise you're going to put yourself in a position where you are going to be falling in love with an idea of them, idealism, right? You're going to be wishful thinking of that. And most likely, we've all been through this as girls, women, men, it doesn't matter, where we think to ourselves like, I wish they could be how they were in the beginning, right? But imagine how if things were the opposite, where they show their true self, you have to go through it. And that's the process of karma. 
karmic cycles where you both understand one another and then it progressively gets better. Why? Because you choose to change yourself for you, you, and also for them to understand them better so they can understand you better. And then once that happens, it becomes a reverse relationship, right? And then you, you'll you be glad at the end of it that... um you went through like three to four months of like fighting and knowing each other's triggers and healing through it and like being at the fifth month mark or something like that and just learning how to finally breathe but in the relationship okay not after okay that's usually what happens during our first experiences of um relationships we obviously no one in this world is going to show our uh, true colors first when and everything like that it's always it's always a false side of ourselves that we want to be right but you are going to meet a person that's going to be so true to themselves it's going to challenge you okay and the healing process isn't pretty and that's why you're going to be like this for a little bit but it's okay the number nine represents change completion this this relationship is going to be very important to you. I don't know what relationships coming through, family, friend, lover, but someone is going to really change this, uh, your perspective of it. You're going to realize that, wow, relationships isn't meant to be perfect at first. It's meant to be full of bullshit. It's meant to fight. You're meant to rip each other's throat out, not physically, but more so in a metaphorical sense where it's like, I want to see your true self. I want to see your pain. So I want to see what I'm dealing with. And like you, you'll see that. It's like how you would fight for someone big and it would become toxic. But in the beginning, because you still have that time. You get what I'm saying? All right. You are going to have a fun ride. Huh? Okay. So they want you to keep going. So whatever you were in right now, don't give up. That's what their message is. Don't give up. Don't give up, Aquarius. I know you like to run away, Aquarius. Don't run away. Stay. Because you will miss an opportunity of a lifetime to really understand and learn what healthy love is. Healthy love is the people that would stay there at your worst and grow from it. Change themselves for you and for them. Okay? So that was for you, Aquarius. I hope that resonated. That was a very in-depth um, reading. But... um. That message you need to be out. Oh, okay. That was, that was the end of the air sign. Now we're going to move on to the last element, which is the water sign. Okay. All right. Water signs. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This will be all recorded on my YouTube channel, guys. Okay. So how to lead my um, water signs. So what we have here is service. Okay. This is the soul card. <coughs> I feel good when I can help others. And that's true. That's your service. When you see someone smile because of what you did or what you said, you feel so much power. You love, like, um, you know, when you give a gift to somebody and all you care about is not the money. You care about their reaction. Like, goddamn, I go ham if they don't have a reaction. I'm like, what's wrong with you? Did your daddy left you? Is that why you're not reacting to my friends? Is that why you don't like it? Like, I'm sorry. That's a toxic trait of me. It's like, it's a joke. It's a banter thing, okay? Australians are very hard and harsh on banter. So if you guys are overseas uh, and you come here, just understand we have a very heavy banter. So be prepared, <laughs> okay? All right. So like, we are very like, um like, do you like it? Do you like it? Like, I want to see you smile <coughs> because we like your energy. It's like you exchanging your life force to us. It sounds a little bit dark what, the way that I said it, but you get what I'm saying, okay? Anyway, <laughs> I feel like um, right now what you're trying to seek is um, a new purpose of life, okay? You want to serve the community. You want to serve yourself, right? You want to feel good. You want to feel power again for helping other people. You want to find something along the lines with that, okay? All right? And I feel like your angels are... Um, doing that for you but i feel like at the same time with you guys wanting to help other people with there's always a cost of your energy and you know you feel drained okay 
um, and they want you to have a rest. They want you to be like, the reason why sometimes, like right now for you water sign placements, okay, everyone out there, you are going to, um, you know, have a little bit of a slow time in uh, your physical world, okay, physical world, okay, I will be going soon, I want to go <laughs> to the Easter show, but yeah, yeah, that was for you, uh, for the collective um, water signs, okay, you're trying to seek this harmony, but spirit's like, yo, I know you want to help people, but you need a rest, because you're a little bit, um, you overworked yourself by helping too many people, and now you gotta start thinking for yourself, help yourself out, yeah, Okay, let's get a, another Orc of God. Yeah, I might go on the last day. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. I don't even know when's the last day. When's the last day? Can somebody tell me? Can you tell me? Okay, let's see. Water, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Thanks for letting me know. Okay, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Hey, 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 hey. What's up? It's good to see some real faces. Okay, Pisces. We're on the last um elements, guys. Okay, we're on the collective water sign reading, so every water sign can see them. Like, hey, what's up? Holla at me. Okay, fourth of April. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's okay. If you see me, say hi. Say hi. Don't be afraid. I look like a bitch. <laughs> like, literally on the outside. But when you meet me, I'm like, oh my god. Hi. <laughs> I'm like a fucking gumdrop. No, I'm not a gumdrop. I'm I'm a sour strap. I'm like sour, but like full of flavor. And it's like yummy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. And then, like, I change my voice in different accents. So, like, don't get offended. It's just, I feel like I have ADD. So, it's just, like, tick, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's see. What are signs? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And if you do guys do see me, don't be so intimidated by my boyfriend. He's a little bit of a eche, but... He's not like that. <laughs> it's fine. He just looks like that. Okay. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. One card, yo. Why are you not giving me one card? Okay. Water signs. Let's see. One card, water signs. Hello. Oh. Whoa. What is that? So we have the number 27, a grand symphony. Oh. Um, yeah, don't worry. I changed him. Obviously, a spiritual bitch with an eshe. You know what that means. You're playing with fire. But they don't know that. Because they think they're all that, right? You're wrong. <laughs> so we powerful bitches out here. Okay, anyways. Uh, grand symphony. Seven, eight, nine. Wow, something's gonna change here. Okay, the way of you, how you service people are going to uh, is going to be like altered. I don't know what it is, but you have a, a, a it's like a career change. That's what I'm saying. Okay, that's how that's how I'm feeling. Like your your goal in life, what you wanted to be or how you wanted to like approach life is gonna change. Okay, your value of your service towards others. Something's going to change. Like a grand symphony is like, you know, definitely like a good use, but it's going to be up in your face. Okay, one, two, three, four. There's like four trumpets here. So like, this is something good. Like it's like a announcement or a parade, like a surprise. Something's going to happen. And I feel like that's why your spirits, water signs are trying to like, hold you down because they know that you're intuitive so if you move around and you like you know mingle about 
uh, you'll know their plans. You know how angels are. You know how spirit are uh, in the universe. They don't like sharing their secrets. They like sharing it and giving you clues by fucking feathers, which I don't understand. I understand, but I don't understand because we want more information. I get, you get me? Yeah, period. Sometimes we look at numbers like, I know what you mean, but like, what do you mean? <laughs> right? <laughs> That's what it is, right? Okay, let's get into the uh, individual cards. Let's get a little bit of clues on what's happening okay so we're gonna start off with pisces pisces can't uh sorry pisces sun rising of venus those placements how to learn my little fishies okay nemo dory um shark tail everything Ugh. all right you know this is a weird thought but like i feel that whenever i eat like little fish eggs i just think of nemo and i just keep eating them i'm like i'm eating your children Wow. Um, yeah. You know what? Just don't worry about that. I said that. But like, I just think about, I think weed stuff. <laughs> Little bit psychotic. Oh, so bad, but it's okay. All right, let's see. Pisces. I mean, I feel like, I feel like us Pisces, we all think of weed things. You know? Right? Does that mean I'm a cannibal because I'm a fish? Anyways, I should shut up before my mind goes into a different place. <laughs> yeah, like, I think of weed, like, whack, like, sorry. <laughs> whack things. Okay, Pisces, let's see. You know, weird is cool. Weird is cool, okay? Pisces, oh, what is this? So we have the four of cups, okay? This is very uh, similar towards this service thing, how I'll take a break, right? But you're not you're not used to that. You're always used to like moving about. You know, being a Pisces is like, you know, you've recently evolved into a like a new you know, uh, version of our collective selves where we actually do what we actually think about, which is empowering because we start to realize like, damn, we are the oldest signs of the zodiac and uh, we also can shapeshift. That means we can steal different powers and traits of the different signs when we need to, when a situation uh, arises within our proximity, right? And we're just like, wow, we're, we're the avatars, right? Right? But now I feel like we have like a prolonged moment in our life where we feel a bit slow or financial is so or your emo like motivation mojo to life is kind of depleted a little bit okay and you're like where did it go what wait why why do i feel like i'm being blocked for some reason it's it's because this grand symphony is gonna happen i don't know what grand symphony it is but an opportunity is going to present themselves soon okay with the four of cups you're the guy here sitting here is like i'm so bored i don't know what to do you know like what's going on like i feel like i'm losing passion for my career um like there's some type of type of blockage you want to be up and going again okay and like um you're just chilling right now but it's not you don't want to live in comfortability anymore you don't want to be that way you don't want to be a lazy pisces you want to do something like extravagant you know you want to do what the uh you know the power the other signs are doing right okay but with the Four of Cups, you're not seeing what you need to learn within this time of um, solitude, okay? And I feel like you need to see this as a positive thing. Like, there's the reason why you're going through this is because um, the universe is planning something for you really, really big, okay? That's going to solve your, your issues, whatever you are feeling right now, okay? They want you to be more content with yourself here okay i feel like they want you to meditate i don't know what it is but they want you to um they want you to have your own space they want you to connect to your own guides your higher self um i can't really pass you that message but you need to ask yourself um up there that version of you the higher version uh the pro <laughs> of what message you need to hear because there's something that you need to know and this is from a spiritual point because this cup is flying. 
Like, you can't physically see it. Like, you're looking at what you have, but there's some, your intuition is telling you there's something more that, that you need to know. You don't know what, um, you know, what it is, okay? And I feel like this is just confirmation. Like, this is a good thing that the reason why you're, like, at this pause of life and you don't know where the fuck you're going. You're like, what, what's happening? It's because they're hiding, <clears throat> they're hiding this big present for you, okay? Definitely a cup here. This is a very luxurious cup that I'm seeing. I'm trying to like visualize what the fuck is going on right now. Um, with the four of cups. The four of cups. Yeah, they're not telling me. They're like, no, you can't see either. I'm like, what the fuck? I want some clues, but I feel like the only clue that you could have is um through music. I don't know what it is. You have to watch um the music that you were interested in that come on your playlist because those give you hints towards what you need to know okay all right pisces that was for you i hope that resonated and uh, i hope everything goes well for you because like um yeah you have to be more in touch with nature i didn't realize but these roots look like they're going straight like the f there's like four roots coming out definitely you need to ground yourself with nature cleanse your energy with it because there's a message for you that only you, your spirits can tell you, okay? Alright, it's something, use music as your way of communication towards them if you don't know how to communicate, okay? That's, that's one way. And also meditation here, because this guy's like meditating, okay? Alright? Because there's, there's definitely a big change here that's going to like really stun you and be like, wait uh what i'm good at this okay there's something big coming but you don't see it you can't sense it they're blocking off everything for you but they're gonna obviously give you little clues okay something with music okay all right look at the um what is it messages of it okay all right i hope that resonated guys i love you guys if there's new opportunities in your life you're ready <laughs> That's giving us confirmation. I love you. <laughs> okay. Right. Anyways, we're going to move on towards Cancer. Let's go. Cancer. Cancer. Let's see what's going on. Oh, I feel my back being so bruised right now. I love you too, bitches. Period. Anyway, where are my Cancers? Yeah, Cancers. Okay. Let's get a card out for you, Cancer. Cancer, this one wants to come out. Oh, Cancer, what's happening with you? All right, so we have the Ten of Wands. There's a lot of weight and responsibilities on you. I don't know if you are in debt, um, but there's something pe being put on your shoulders that you're you know carrying constantly. I don't know if this is a new job that has um been very um you know, repetitive, and it feels like you're walking, like, a thousand miles just to get, you know, a jug of water, right, a gallon of water, and even though it's, like, 10 miles, and you have to walk it, and you're, like, there for hours, right, and it, it's just, like, a lot of hardships that you're going through right now, and you're, like, yearning for a miracle, okay, all right, and there's definitely going to be one, okay, number 27 could be very significant to you, two, seven, okay, uh, or number nine, okay all right and i want you to understand i feel like your guys don't want you to, to um don't work too hard for other people you need to really take the time for yourself here okay because you're overpowering and overworking too much okay and you need to really take care of your own oh, be careful of your back um I don't know if you guys are having back pains, but you have to sit down. Your um, ergonomics needs to be fixed. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, try to like um, you know, posture yourself. Try to do deadlifts. It really uh, improves your posture. Definitely my experience. Um, if you guys are deciding to gym or want to gym, okay. 
Uh, because like I feel like you're d- deteriorating yourself. It feels like you skipped so many years and you never really lived your young life part of um, you know your lifespan. Okay, because you serve so much for other people and like it feels like um, no one is taking you seriously because you don't stand up for yourself. Okay, because when you do, you back down easily. Okay, you need to use different placements in your chart because everyone has different placements um, to really take control of your life. Because I feel like there are people around you that are controlling you, using you as like, um, you know, their messenger, you know, their little toy here, which is not good. This is, this is not, on, okay, you need to stand up for yourself, Cancer, and um, be correct with your words, okay? All right, be smart with your words, okay? Learn from how other people do it to you. That's how you observe, right? Don't you just keep um, putting yourself in a uh, safe position where it's like, oh, I'm too afraid to stand up or want to move out from this job because blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't feel comfortable. You need to step outside of your shell, Cancer. And I feel like those are one of the things that you are afraid to do um, is to actually do things that you that are risky, okay all right because you need to take a risk okay that's your message for you cancer and i feel like this grand symphony is going to give you what uh, you deserve when you speak up for yourself look these are like um megaphones okay old-fashioned megaphones but this is definitely from the music of recording things um back in the 20s 1920s and stuff like that which is beautiful but I feel like you just need to raise up your voice. Yeah, that's why I was like coughing and like itching my chest because this is all about your throat chakra and like um, <sighs> taking a deep breath for yourself and realizing that this is your life, okay? You're not in a conservatorship. Conservatorship is like when um, all your legal matters and uh, the, your decisions um, of your life is given over towards some and another in dependent individual to control your life because you're not making good decisions right all right hashtag britney spears okay so don't put yourself in that position you need to stand up for yourself voice out your your um you know what you want to say because the reason why you're in this situation whatever situation you're in cancer is because you don't talk for yourself you let other people push you around you're not a pushover but right now you are you need to stand up for yourself, okay? That's the message right now because you serve too much of other people but you don't serve yourself, okay? All right, so that was for you, Cancer. I hope that resonated, but we got to move on towards Scorpio, which is the last sign. Thank you, Miss, so much for you know being here and everything like that. Much appreciated. I hope everything's well, okay? Oh, okay so we have the page of pentacles scorpio you're looking at an opportunity okay i'm just doing a little sneak peek here <laughs> Whoa. okay okay i see what it is it's very hard for you to surrender and that's your message. End of story. <laughs> oh, I mean, that's the main message. But anyways, I'm just going to go in depth with it. So with the page of pentacles, I feel like obviously um, you're growing something here. You're how you're looking at this opportunity that's in your life. I see this is a connection or this could even be like a, a, a financial thing. OK, or like a job offer here. OK, because they want you to take it. Your spirit guides want you to take the leap of faith in things where you in the past didn't go well for you okay because you keep referencing and comparing people situations of the past but never realizing how to grow from it and understand that you will do better and see that in the present moment you are a different person from what you were before you're not dumb like you were before you weren't you know um you know the type of persona the mindset that you had years ago or two years ago like, you need to see that you have made so much progress and growth within your own life and understand that you need to trust yourself to take leaps of faith before you put yourself in this, like, continuum of, um, 
you know, always expecting the worst. Because if you always expect the worst, the worst will come to you. Will come to you. Okay? Because that's your dirty traits. Toxic traits. Where you always expect that everything's going to fall apart. Everything that you touch is going to be destroyed. Okay? It's not going to be destroyed. Okay? Because like, you honestly, deep down inside, you want to help people so much. But you don't give a shit about them. Because like, <laughs> because the world is corrupted. Okay? Oh, thank you so much, Mary. Limited edition. You're the only one that has a jump on, by the way. <laughs> okay. Even my boyfriend wanted it, and then I was like, no. She's gonna have it. Sorry. My mystics aren't paying first. <laughs> Anyways, so with Scorpio, you have to realize that this is a new environment for you okay this is going to be um really enlightening and uh going to give you a new experience of what you um have walked through in the past but in a different light it's going to be literally in light it's not going to be in the dark because you already went through the hardship that you were meant to go through the hardship before to understand how to work life how to work in uh and communicate uh and cooperate with other people relationships and how to grow because i feel like scorpio for you it took you a long time to really understand your power and your power is to turn that pain into literal positivity like um energy power right and there was this grand symphony that has came out for you okay it's going to happen you're going to really speak out your truth and you're going to transform yourself and give yourself justice justice is here for you for the longest time good karma justice hasn't been on your side because you were always in this dark place and you always chose pain but now you're looking at a new opportunity that has entered your life like a person um that is helping you learn how to love or change or um teach you something for your career for your life and everything like that to be a better person you are thinking about it and this is something that you haven't really thought about because usually with these type of offers or something like that you would run away run away because you were scared but now you're not scared anymore you're thinking about it like should i do it do it because spirits just asking and like me to tell you that you need to take this leap because whatever you are facing it's you need to take that push you need to fight fear because sometimes no not even sometimes all the time literally your fear is the answer to your problem that is literally the problem because if you always live in fear you're not going to be able to um, experience the new opportunities that are in your life that is like right in front of you how are you going to grow in that uh you know comfortability you can't you have to grow out of it okay and like i feel like that's something that you have recently learned it took you a long time but like it's it's now time to get out of that shell it's now time to face some music right because these are record um megaphone players okay i don't know what the fuck they're called but you get what i'm saying it's time to listen to more uplifting music stop listening to sad music okay because i feel like you have a habit of that it's time to experience more uplifting energy because you're lifting all of this um, baggage off of you okay it's time to be in service of yourself instead of trying to be in service of others when you don't even love yourself how are you supposed to love others if you can't accept yourself as a person if you can't accept your flaws if you can't evolve within yourself how do you expect the people and the things that you want in life around you to evolve with you okay because whatever you feel internally is going to be a projection of um and a reflection of what the outside world that you are in is going to give you okay what you give out they're going to give right back at you tenfold okay so really be careful and stop pushing yourself uh, in a spiritual way in uh, an emotional manner where you start fighting off your your shadow work okay and you start thinking more ballsy about like what did i do in the past that i'm not going to do i'm going to evolve from grow from now you are growing okay right now it feels like you don't know what to do, but you do. You have to listen to your intuition. Your guys are always there with you, okay? 
all right the music always has messages for you that's an important thing okay music okay if you feel like your intuition is telling you to listen to something or listen to a lyric or look at the name they're trying to tell you something okay and that's how you communicate towards your guys if you guys are you know not too much experience with um, spirits and stuff like that it's just you know you know everything in your life even your room is a message from spirit okay all right stop being brave because you are brave you have to feel it you don't talk it you feel it okay when you feel it everything comes into alignment because this big grand symphony is going to happen okay this big awakening that you're going to look at yourself um in a week's time or a year's time where not even a year's time sorry i'm just going to take that back in in a few weeks time in a few days time you're going to look back and be like wow all i had to do was choose myself and that's where the magic happens okay so that was for you scorpio i hope that resonated that's all i have for tonight okay oh my god tonight was really you know deep into the soul a little bit but it's okay but everything will be recorded posted up on my youtube channel mystic siren okay if you guys want a personal reading um send me an email check out the packages in uh my website is linked in my bio and thank you for my mare my little baby mare baby mare uh, my moderator for being here and all my moderators that have um, entered in and out thank you sending off good energy and for new people newcomers welcome i hope you enjoyed my energy and i'm here every wednesday um, or maybe thursday just depending on my um, schedule so please do follow my instagram to keep you updated and everything like that and um yeah all right so i hope you guys have a good night and happy easter everybody and stay safe yeah period Okay, bye guys.